So here we are, 180 miles later, here is the official source of the Thames. So now after five years we're going to carry on to the um, seven. Hopefully the next 43 miles is not going to take us five years to do. Well, as the gate's open, we don't need to use the style. So, this is the Sapperton Canal Tunnel, which unfortunately we can't walk through, so we're going to have to walk over it. So we now continue up and over. It was, according to the information board, that was a, this was done as a hostel for the um, people oh, used to, no, people used to walk the oh, boats walk. through, or leg the boats through, or whatever they it's called them. Nice. the trouble with that sign post to jump foot paths. Mm -hmm. It's not very good sometimes, is it? Oh, there's a sign up in front as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Right on. <laughs> well, very nice. Nice field, isn't it? Well, bits of uh, cornflower. 
Now we have to take our life into our hands and cross this very busy main road. Ooh. Oh look, nothing coming. Oh, big truck coming. Uh. So now, a mile of road walking to Sapperton. Seven and a half miles to strewn by road. So that's not not that far. And now for a little detour through Sapperton. Because if we follow the path we're following, we have to go straight on down there. But we're going off this way. Ish. Alright, so we couldn't go down the uh, the road uh, because it was a farm track and we can walk down there so we're coming the alternative way um, into Sapperton. I'm sure Sapperton is going to be really really lovely when we actually go to see Sapperton. It does look lovely Sapperton or oh, this bit of it looks lovely. Stop for a drink in the pub. Ooh. Yeah, it is very steep. I wouldn't like to come down here when it was wet. So, that was Sapperton. Hopefully this is also the right path out of Sapperton. Lots of paths on the map. <laughs> yes, it's the right way. Thames and Severn path. It's impressive, isn't it? No, I think it's the river. This. Yes. Yeah, so, it is. It is the other end of the canal tunnel. Whoa, that's impressive, isn't it? So, if you could walk through there, you'd come out where we where we saw the other. With the other, yes. Wow. Three miles. Wow, that's still still more of the same -y sort of wooded track which is probably the canal tall path as was because over there in the undergrowth is the old canal and we have another pub yeah it's let's go and inspect big pothole um aha it must be this way why is this way no no but look we've got the we got the ones that we're following i'm not quite sure that why is this or which this way is 
but that it causes you to you go, go into that it, yeah. field. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Well, it did say a steep drop. No, I mean a drop from the edge. Yeah. Mm. Is it weird? Yeah, it's certainly a deep. You wouldn't want to fall down there at night. Well, you wouldn't want to fall down there during the day, would you? No, you wouldn't want to. Yeah. That's so close. Over a bridge. Ooh, for a dried up block. Not quite dried up, but less watering than is needed for the boat. Very nice. So going under the railway arches is wrong. We've uh, we've. Mm -hmm made a little mistake in following the path. So let's see if we can find it. Oh, by the octagonal house, we cross the bridge and pick up, hopefully pick up the right path. Yes, here it is. Mind you, the detour to the railway arches was nice.
Hmm. No, uh, bye. It's a lavender bakehouse and coffee shop. And sort of somewhere over here. caught up with the uh, road. Under the bridge. This is fun. Not. It sort of gets better, doesn't it? That was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh. oh, you survive with clean feet. That's good going. And we keep going another three and a half miles and we've reached Stood Station. Where does the path go? So this is Brimscombe Port. Oh, footpath over there. So we don't stray from the path they fenced us in. a 
little break in the footpath. We could go and do it because it's sort of the canal is over there behind those trees. Um, but we decided that as the canal and the road follow one another and we're almost in Strood, so we'll um, uh, follow the road into Strood. So we've reached the centre of Strood. Now to find somewhere to eat.